You think it's time? I think it's time. I I also think it's time. All right. It's now day 51, and we've got shit to do. Originally, the plan was to start a pretty big project on day 51. However, winter set in, and we realized that safety must, must, must come first. So we are going to spend the next few days fortifying our defenses over the now frozen lake. And that's really all we did over the next few days. So here are the highlights. Dude, these spikes do so much damage. Like... It's, it's, it's insane, actually. I'm glad that you're doing it, not me. You can go for, like, physical damage by, like, hitting them in the face, or, like... Emotional you know, damage. damage. Yeah. <laughs> by smacking their ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of messed up, like... <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, oh, you want to come on our land? We're gonna... We're gonna diddle you a little bit. <laughs> that, that is a good deterrent, though. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, don't read these guys. Last time I went there, they fucking diddled me. <laughs> but I feel like the uh, the cannibal attacks are too infrequent now, you know? Oh, shit. We got a fucking army of mutants coming. Of those bastards are coming around this side of the wall. How did he get in our bait? Fuck off. He underneath the fucking base. Fuck me! Ow! They ripped down a chunk of the base. You haven't noticed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, we're fine for now. What were you saying about there's no attacks coming or something? I couldn't hear you over the sound of our base being fucking destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, come on. Dude, dude, buddy just jumped. Oh, we got another attack here. Oh, wait. Buddy just jumped the wall. Your wall, at least, the non-spike. They, oh. they can jump the non-spike walls. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why you spike them. Yeah. Alright, uh, I will be back in... I'm. Uh, you're gonna time me, so I'll say 4 minutes and 38 seconds. You, you think that he'd learn from his last one, you know? Alright, right, I'm back. God damn it, Toast. Damn it, he made it. <laughs> They're trying to buy me out to tase you, Toast. How high have they gotten so far? I don't. They're asking how many subs to to tase Toast. Uh, I, I said there's no price on my honor. So. Aw. Uh. One sub. I don't know. One <laughs> sub. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Not even like ten. <laughs> One sub and you'll fucking do it. It's something you'll like. It's something you'll around. like. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I just accidentally killed Kelvin twice. Yeah, that spider, spider boy just fucked off. Like, oh no, he's back. he's back. He's back. He's back. He heard me. Oh shit! 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 Got it. Go! Go! You yelling at me to go? Go is not gonna go. make me find it any go. faster. Go! <laughs> This is not how that works. I don't know if these sticks are close enough. To the... Oh! Dude. Yeah, sticks aren't doing really damage to this, dude. Oh, hello, worm. Oh, yeah, there's he's a worm like, up there, by the way. Yeah, he's fucking left it by the zip line. Which one is closest? I think the one southwest is. What the fuck? Southwest. Oh, the sun is shining through the house right now. See, if it was doing that for me before, we were shining through the house, the mountain, like anything. Like when I go in here, it doesn't shine through. When I go out here, it does. The morning of day 56, we were pretty pleased to see that our floating defensive wall was holding strong. The goal today was to loot some of the bunkers, especially for light bulbs. Actually, they're being pretty chill. Nice. Bunch of rope here. Well, we did kind of. Claw. Murder them all last time, so they're um. Are they all gone? Oh no, they're just they moved. <laughs> Looks comfy. 
On this journey, we stumbled across some more found footage in one of the bunkers. Is this what happened to the cultists? Lore. We also came to the conclusion that there are worse things that could happen on this island than having to log. Who takes the time to do that? Like, shove a guitar down him. someone's throat. Like, that does not go down easy. Like, you gotta be, like, mashing that shit in, right? Yeah, no, that's, that's some effort. Like, like someone really didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, this was personal. The morning of day 57, we ran into a familiar face. Calvin, this isn't where you're supposed to be getting sticks from. Is he really? Did he come to here to gather sticks? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, <laughs> you go back home. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah, go. We then proceeded to loot a completely normal bunker. What is this painting of? Uh, I don't know. Later in the day, we were back at home just doing our daily chores. And then a statement was made that you really never want to hear. What did you just tear down? I didn't tear anything down. Something's breaking. Yeah. What's what's breaking? Oh, oh man. The floor. Oh, there's a fucking guy underneath us. Dude, I can't. Got him. What's the point of putting up a giant defensive wall? These fuckers spawn in. Yeah, they just spawn inside of our walls every time. Day 58, we realized we needed to make a way into the base for Kelvin. Uh, weren't we going to build, like, a window for Kelvin? And then spike the window? Whoops. Jesus, I fucking pity the poor cannibal who runs into that. Grab our grapple gun. What? Why'd you make that so dull? A good majority of the rest of the day was spent following Kelvin. You got this, I believe. All right, he's heading for the door. All right, progress. Oh. And he's stuck in the meat. <laughs> that's all right. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's no. gonna get to one tree that's inside. Wait, wait, don't do it. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. You mad, man. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let's see. Is it gonna destroy our. It's. Fuck! We didn't hire him for his, uh. his login skills. We didn't hire him. <laughs> We hired him because he was free. There Did we go. he destroy another part of the wall over? God damn it, Kelvin. Day 59, it was finally time. Today was mostly spent planning out the new and improved FU Tower. But I feel like this cliff is a great spot for an FU Tower. It's freaking. How the hell are we gonna get log? I mean, what do you. Where do you want. Where would you think into putting it? Up on that mountain? Yeah. Where up on that mountain? See that, like, really tall spot? You want to go to the peak? Yeah. How the yeah, hell are okay. we going to get logs up there? Zip lines, my guy. Like, pass the logs up on the zip lines and have, at the top of each zip line, we have, like, log holders. It would be worth it, man. No, it Just, wouldn't. It, we did it. We totally worth it. No, because we wouldn't, like, oh, man, that sounds horrible. That's a terrible idea. Jesus. <laughs> One of the best part? No. <laughs> a log roll downhill. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, here's the, uh, the peak. Hey, can you revive me? Too bad you can't ride a zipline with another zipline going, you know? Yeah. Are you fuck? Can you revive can you me? die again? Yeah, I sure can. <laughs> this is going to be such a fun project. You guys already know what we did the next 11 days. Yep, you guys wanted it. Now we could be building something really, really cool off of the distance complex designs. Nah, y'all just want a, a big ass tower. So, here it is. You wanted it, you got it. 11 days of tower building. I don't know, it's just we've had some good ideas in the past, and I don't feel like this is one of them. <laughs> Hey, it doesn't need to be a gr good idea. It just needs to be an okay idea, you know? You know what? That works pretty well, actually. Day 61 was mostly focused on building this platform in the middle, which was being a pain in the ass. Put a, put a staircase here, where I am. 
yeah. and then just build out like one or two platforms and then we'll have just kind of a square if we already tried to build out the issue can you not we couldn't build out no there's no snaps worst spot i uh, probably not the worst spot but like a pretty annoying spot yeah all right <laughs> Day 62, construction at the peak of the mountain of the base of the FU tower could finally commence. Alright, the FU tower is done. We got one platform. Oh. Perfect, that's all we need. Can you jump to the next one? No problem, without having, uh, bumping your head on the next floor? Well, that's kind of what I'm hoping, right? Day 63 was another boring day. But you already knew that because we're building a tower on top of a mountain. These trees make no sense. I cut down one tree and it's thin as fuck. It drops logs. I cut down a thicker tree and then it drops sticks. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. No. Um. 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 <laughs> no. Day 64 begins by discussing some plans for what to do after we're done streaming this game. So what I'm thinking is that we uh, we turn my stream into a uh, a religious gathering of sorts for uh, the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, and then I'll just give like a sermon every day, and then there we go. This is this is part of the uh, the religion. <laughs> Pastafarianism. Pastafarianism. And you want to explain why that relates to Sea of Thieves? So uh, if you didn't know. Uh, all, all of humanity has, uh, descended from, uh, pirates. So, uh, yeah. Sea Thieves, pirates, kind of makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> um, just become a minister for the, uh, Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. <laughs> Fucking dumb. And I mean, a church isn't just a building, right? It's, it's, it's a gathering it's of a people. It's a place of gathering, that, yes. Yeah. So, this is technically a church. <laughs> My stream is a church. <laughs> Oh, does that mean I get tax breaks on my uh, on my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean every that. every stream we play Sea of Thieves, I have to like You gotta throw on the hat and we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> bust out into worship. <laughs> Alright. Pastafarianism prayers. Yes. <laughs> Our pasta, who art in Calander, draining be your noodles. The noodle thy noodle come, thy sauce be yum. On top, some granted parmesan. <laughs> give us this day our garlic bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trample on our lawns. And lead us not into veganism, but deliver us some pizza. For thine meatball, the noodle, and the sauce, forever and ever, ramen. Can I have a ramen in the chat? And our religious beliefs were confirmed a bit later in the day with this... Sign, I guess you would call it. Do whatever you gotta do. Yeah. What right. the hell was that? Day 65 was a day of magical phenomenon. I am in this fucking rope. Being in <laughs> I'm being impaled by the zipline, bro. I don't know. Let's fill up the log holders on the main one. On the... Alrighty. What just happened? Do you see me up here? Yeah. Alright, let me see. You teleported. All right, cool. What the hell, man? I guess you can't ride the zip line, but uh, you can definitely teleport down. I can teleport can down, teleport but not up. up. I just go up to it. I click E and boom. Day 66, we took a slight break in the morning to honor our Canadian heritage by going moose hunting. I think you lose oh, stamina. Fuck a lot me. Quicker. I, I found a fucking moose. Just ran me over. Uncalled for. And again, lovely. As a dick. Are you motherfucker? So you just out of nowhere, these moose just try and fucking charge me. Like, I won't even be interested in them. And then they start charging me, and now I'm like, alright, now you gotta die. Like, I can't even hold enough meat. At the end of the day, I decided to play some Gardening Simulator 2023 to just get ready for another few days of logging. Kelvin started up day 67 by getting stuck. Again. Will you go now? There we go. It's impressive how he manages to get stuck there. We then got back to collecting logs, and I'll be the first to admit that I was just a little bit rusty. Weird. Oh shit, was that the... 
Well, day 68, we decided to experiment just a little bit about how much this new trampoline thing negates fall damage. Ow. Go, go, <laughs> go. Nope. Did you bounce? Nope, did definitely not. You didn't die. What? How did I you mean, not go die? It. I only took a little bit of damage. I mean, you can try it. And then came one of the more embarrassing moments for me personally in this series. I wonder how many not. like we'll just let's just open up the the thesaurus and then uh yeah we'll crack open the, the describing words as possible to yeah uh, the, uh, crack open the, the, the why can't I say that the the thesaurus the thesaurus the thesaurus the thesaurus the Jesus I can't say that I can't say that what the hell the thesaurus the thesaurus fuck your tongue too big? <laughs> I think so. The th dude, it's a. I can't hit two T's in a row. Th th why? I can't say the th th fuck. I can't say the second word. I just said it. The Saurus. The Saurus. All right, guys. Banks having a stroke. <laughs> the sor. The. Th I can't say. The Saurus. The Saurus. The Saurus. The Saurus. The Saurus. The Saurus. <laughs> Vsauce. No, that's not it. Vsauce. <laughs> Day 69, I made a horrible, horrible mistake by getting Toast talking about one of his all-time favorite games, Space Station 13. Uh, yeah, yeah, because, like, a lot of times when you're making cults, like, you gotta hide, like, out of view to get it started, at least. Yeah. So, like, you end up going inside the maintenance tunnels and stuff and doing your shit there, and then... You know, janitors frequent there because, like, you know, they're cleaning shit. But it can kind of throw a wrench in your plan pretty quickly. <laughs> there was one hallway which uh, was like comes off of like where everyone goes to get their food and stuff from the kitchens, and um, I, I covered that entire hallway in uh, what's called space lube. It's just like a really slippery substance. And as soon as you step on it, you fall over and then you go flying. As long as there's a loop on the ground, you'll keep sliding kind of thing. So I made uh, like a slip and slide out into space. <laughs> when you when you use them, then instead of like it, like on the needle, it would have like a label on it that said uh, uh, like telekinesis or like, you know, super strength. Like yeah, a bunch, bunch of really cool superpowers. It, it was um, it was a fucking injector that would actually make you... Uh, a midget and uh, have Tourette's. <laughs> I'd be walking around the station and there'd just be a bunch of people that are just really short and cursing. <laughs> There's two versions of the game that are like very close to being the same, but like not quite kind of thing. And some people prefer the one version because, you know, it's better. And then the other people are senile and prefer the other version. Day 70, we did not talk about subjects that could potentially get you cancelled. What I usually do, and it pisses a lot of people off, is whatever view someone takes, I'll take an op opposing view just so, so I can see, like, how how fleshed out their stance is, you know? Actually, yeah, that'd be funny if you're like, and day 70, and they're like, and then I just say, so, politics, <laughs> and then, day 80. <laughs> Day 71. <laughs> By the end of the day, we had made it all the way to floor 20. Given that our last FU tower was 20 floors, we just needed to add one more floor tomorrow and this would be completed. We also discovered that two trampolines stacked one on top of the other would completely negate fall damage. Go! Oh my god, I didn't take any damage. Are you serious? No damage. Day 71, the CEG TIT OF was finally done. Also known as the Colossal Enormous Gargantuan Tremendous Immense Tower of Fuckening. So now what? Alright, the FU Tower is officially completed. Day 72, we wanted to jump off the top of our tower with our gliders. However, they seemed to have despawned, so in the morning we went to find some. All right, I got my hands on a glider. Solid. I'll start trying to gain some altitude. After we found the glider, climbed the mountain, and climbed the tower, you know what we had to do. 
made it to the top with a glider. Do you have anything to say? I mean, look out over this view, Toast. Everything we've accomplished. Yeah, we have uh, too much time on our hands. That's, that's about it. This is uh, three streams worth of uh, logging right here. Three streams. Well, I'll race you to that uh, the end part of the island over there. Oh, damn. Fucking going. Day 73, we decided we wanted to build something on our now frozen lake. So we settled on this idea we had for an upside down pyramid FU fishing hut. Like Frank or something. But could you build a house that's just like an upside down triangle building like how you're building right now? Yeah, but you'd have to build like supports. Like, oh, you'd have okay. to build like scaffolding underneath. Yeah. So you could get the uh, snap points. It actually wouldn't take... It's possible. I mean, we could maybe get it done in the next two days. It would take a bit of work though. There was just one problem with the name, though. What's the purpose of this place again? Uh, it's a, it's a fishing hut. Yeah, we can't actually do any fishing here, right? You know what? I don't need your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> the morning of day 74, I noticed that Kelvin's doggy door wasn't working too well, so I spent the morning trying to fix that. Kelvin won't use his little doggy door. Um, it's part of the aesthetic. Holes in the walls. Uh. We then kept working on our fishing hut and had a bit of a cannibal attack later in the day that we might have been just a little too cocky for. Yeah, point at us. Come on. Here he comes. It ain't gonna end well, bro. Oh god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> it ain't gonna end well for you, man. Fucking jumps the wall. Takes a, an easy step over. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a. I can't place this back. Day 75. Toast wanted a complex roof on the fishing hut, so we were working on that today. We didn't have too long left with the lake frozen, so we were in a bit of a rush. He tried to get me to drive him like an hour and a half to go pick up what he claimed were super sport cars. That he won street racing. Like, what? Yeah. Like, cause you remember how he always bragged. He bragged about the dumbest shit. Yeah, he, he bragged that he owned like 20 sports cars and he made $5,000 a day street racing. And then that- You're working at fucking and then, uh, yeah, no, he was He was only working here for a tax book so he could explain why he was making $5,000 a day. That's why you got a job at McDonald's. Oh, you got a job at McDonald's to cover that. Yeah, that's, that's, that was his, that's, that's why he said he was working there. So he could explain his street racing earnings. What did he say? He, he, he's been to prison four times. He's How did you get the job? Yeah, no, that was his... <laughs> he said he's been to prison four times. He's, you know, he's a he's a hood, hoodlum. He's a, okay. he's a real, you know, a real gangster, as he put it. He could get any girl he wanted, though he was in a- I swear to god, this is real. Like, I didn't believe him, but Nate showed me the proof. He was in a committed relationship with his cousin. <laughs> That's not a joke. Oh man. But... <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. Yeah. The morning of day 76, I was AFK again for just a little bit. And you'd think I would've learned my lesson by now, but clearly not. Oh. Oh, I'm back. Hey. Dude, fucking. I'm going deer hunting right now. The rest of the day was spent annoyingly, I might add, as the lake was now thawed, trying to build the fishing hut. Shit. All the logs are falling into the water. God damn it. You have a pretty hard time fixing that zipline. Well, line. like, the first four or five logs went in, and then it just blocked it. So if someone's here catching oh, okay. them and turning them in, then we're fine. All right. But even then, like, this should be enough logs to finish up. Yeah, we're nearly there. The morning of day 77, we were pretty much all out of food, so we decided it was time to do just a little bit of hunting. Dude, there's so many moose over here, like, fuck. Yeah. yeah, like, after we finish this stream and I go fill out my... Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Fucking moose just despawned, like, a foot in front of me. It was then time to get back to the fishing hut grind. Uh, alright, what is your most controversial opinion or take? No. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. 
That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> The morning of day 78, we finally finished the fishing hunt, which was a pretty good feeling. <laughs> Looks so dumb, I love it. There's no purpose, I mean, like... <laughs> just useless. Yep. Yeah, she, she agrees, yeah, she She thought it was good, yeah. At least we got the opinion mm. of a uh, six-limbed mutant, uh, you know. Yeah. Really Lovely. reinforce our ideas. Later in the day, during an average cannibal attack, we got to see what these traps actually do. I want to see nice. what the traps Step do. On the Step on the thing. Oh Come my on. god. Oh, how did that even happen? <laughs> Smacked his ass so hard, uh, his head popped off. Day 79, it was time to bite the bullet. We'd been looking at how many sticks we'd needed collected for a while to finish up our garden. And we decided that today, we were going to get the majority of them done. The, the thing that really st sucks about sticking is that I can't <gasps> see the camera down time What the anymore. shit? Or like the, uh... The, Bro, I stopped for half, half a stick. second to adjust something on my stream, and this dude jumped on me. What? This dude jumped out of the sky onto me, bro. Bro! Oh, hello, fatty. Phew. Dude, that like scared the ever-living shit out of me. Holy crap. Oh, you mean the cannibals? Yeah. No, not just- Okay. Dude, I said a dude jumped on me. You think I was talking about in real life? You would've heard a lot more about that. Well, not like jumped on you, but like, you know, like... Started like, berating you in your chat or something, you know? What I'm getting at is today sucked. Uh, there's another one. <laughs> What's in the back? His body slams into <laughs> fucking frame. <laughs> and his name was John Cena. He tried to fucking dig you down there. God damn. Day 80, I had fajitas the night before, so needless to say, I just needed to use the bathroom. However, I had learned from my mistakes, so I was gonna outsmart Toast this time. Hmm. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. All right. All right, we got this. All right, I'm gonna need a zip line gun. I'm gonna start pulling logs from inside. I hope Kelvin can pick these up. That'd make it a lot easier if we can get Kelvin to clean up this mess. This is gonna be a hell of a mess. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Almost got a wall of logs around him. He would have been better off if I, uh, if he went AFK inside. Because then at least, uh, he would have this big mess to clean up. It would take far less logs. Well, I had to do something. No, you didn't. I swam out there so you wouldn't trap me. Where'd you get those logs from? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Got some logs. Where'd you tear your logs. them down from? Yeah, he collected seven sticks while I was away and spent his entire time trying to trap me. So you got to give him at least perseverance credits. But by the end of the day, all of the sticks had finally been collected. Two, three. Bang. It's done, Toast. It's finally done. Woo. Free at last. Day 81, we realized that we now have a garden, but not too many plants to go in it. So we want to go hunting to try to find a ton of the plants used to make energy mixes, health mixes, just everything in general. Wonderful. Oh my god, yeah. That was not a long search. Great, there's an absolute metric fuck done of both of those here. Solid. Chicory here? Yeah, chicory goes in this row here. Okie dokie. Yeah. And then if you have any devil seeds for the devil's thing, put them on the other side. Now we're growing all the ingredients we need for the regular health mix, health mix plus, and the energy mix plus. All right. Which row is arrow leaf in? Arrow leaf is going for this row here. That's the only thing we don't have yet. Okay. Do you have seeds for it? Yeah. This side? Yeah. Day 82, we really wanted to be productive. What what relatively stupid, useless thing can we create over the next 18 days that might be entertaining to some people? 
Unfortunately, we had no ideas, so we decided to head to the top of the FU Tower to try to get some inspiration. We haven't played golf yet. Do we have golf? Do we have golf balls? Yeah. Do we play golf in this game? Yeah. You know where the golf course is? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's on the other side. I have a pretty good idea where it is. Oh, yeah. Oh wait, I was supposed to come up with the idea after we get onto the tower. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Okay, forget I said anything. Okay, yep. Viewers, I'm yeah. counting on yeah. you. You're about to see a acting course. Alright, so. What do you want to build next? It's amazing, it's an amazing view. What could we possibly do with our uh, our leftover time? Don't forget my lines. Yeah, what do we what do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. Um, see, I've had this this dream since I was a, a very young child. I uh, I wanted to be a professional uh, professional putter. Uh, if if only I could relive that dream in this game. The the, the best golfer to ever uh, live. On this island, this, well, this island specifically. Well, wouldn't you know it? There's a golf course over there. No way! Oh, but, but we need clubs and balls. Where are we gonna get clubs and balls? I think we picked up a club. Did we pick up a ball? Uh, we'll figure it out there. Naturally, we spent the rest of the day making Mad Toaster Waffles' his dream a reality. Can't see your ball, so. You might be able to see it when I. It makes the putt noise Did when you, you hit him in the head. <laughs> gentle. Oh. Yeah, I can't even get in the hole, bro. As long as it's pretty much on there. Oh. Maybe it can. Alright, well my, my ball was in the hole. Can you beat my two? If you move further away oh, from the ball, yeah, then it hits one. the softer. Hey, nice. We did it. Good job, team. All right, pro golfers here. Yep. All right, let's uh, let's go home. We also stumbled upon a new location at the end of the day. How do you get up? Around back. Oh, okay. Oh, the ladder. You can't use. The morning of day 83, we discovered a new type of cannibal. Lovely. This one cannibal had fucking raw meat inside of his, uh, his uh, skin pouch. See a fake cannibal? He's hey. just not supporting the cause, like. Right? Come on, man. Eat a friend. Is that why he, he had to hide it? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to tell anyone, but I, I, I'm actually not a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like... I like regular I meat eaters scared. like vegans to cannibals. I guess. We decided we wanted to do a bit of work designing our rooms as, you know, we hadn't done anything yet. And while making the armor stand, something stood out to me. I guess I can decorate wow, my room this too. dude is thick. Come here. What? Look at how thick this dude is. Damn, he cheeked up. Why is he facing the wall? I was trying to figure out. I didn't know which way was forward, so I was testing it out. But well, that's not forward. But damn, he cheeked up. He might I'm, as well leave it that way. Yeah, I think I was thinking the same thing. Like, <laughs> do I face him out the right way, or do I leave him? Nope, cheeked he's up staying like that? that way. He's staying that way. He's cheeked up. He I deserves mean, he... to have everyone watching. About halfway through the day, my Wi-Fi crashed, so we decided just to get off for the day. The next time we logged on, patch 6.0 had been released. So they still see they still haven't fixed the mooses going through walls. Oh, lovely. Have they fixed the uh No. Day 84 was the primary day that we spent messing around with all of the new stuff in patch 6.0, which primarily was these new stones. You can jump pretty high for still carrying three giant boulders on you. Right? I feel like these are not particularly durable. I feel like defensive walls are going to be more durable. Yeah. 
There goes all those rocks. Move these out of the way! You fucking place my blueprints. That does not... That's not how gravity works. At least we were able to make a nice, sexy-ass fireplace by the end of the day. Day 85, we started messing around with a trap we hadn't got around to yet. Hop on. Wow. Okay. Did you, did you take damage from that? Yeah. Alright, ready? Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Just gotta remember to reset it every time we're down there. Of course, there was also one more trap we needed to try out. Alright. Let's check. Walk in. Yep, okay. I guess it just turned them straight into bones. This was of course followed up by us deciding that we wanted to build Kelvin a house. Actually, it was more of a kennel. Kelvin's kennel. Nothing to keep him warm? Ah, oh, shit. Do you think he deserves something to keep him warm? I mean, a little bit. What has he done to deserve such a treat? Huh? It's Kelvin. Kelvin. Hey man, oh. if you can rename uh, Virginia to Blicky, then I think we can rename. Yeah, Kevin you made that name Kelvin up too. All right, I get one of I, these people. I, the morning of day eighty-six, we finished up Kelvin's kennel. Did we give some lights? Yeah, let's you know, not the nice ones. Like a single bone light kind of thing. Again, one torch right there. Perfect. No. Light. It's too nice. Too a little messed up, you know? What? Lucky We're keeping him safe. Inside of a box. <laughs> inside of a stone fucking... It's a little stone dungeon. Yeah. And then it was time for us to try and lock him in it. He's, he's, he's staring at you outside the wall. No, I don't I don't think he's going. Alright. I don't like his house. He just... He's in the house? I don't think it, it matters so much because he can face through, through walls, walls, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out Kelvin actually had some friends that he called to help bust him out of his newfound jail uh, house. Oh, what the hell? There's a... What? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, fuck. I'm stuck in the wall. I'm stuck in the wall. Help. Oh, God. Help. Help. Dude, that was like a... I just looked up. There's a fucking swarm of them coming. Day 87, Kelvin was trying to assert his dominance over parts of my property. What the fuck are you doing, Kelvin? But he's just chilling in my chair. <laughs> just asserting dominance. <laughs> like, this is my room now. You can live inside of the shed. <laughs> I, I want him to pull out a notepad one of these days. Just F you. Right. <laughs> he starts talking back. Yeah, he's like... Also, given the curves on my tech mesh armor stand, I made an executive decision with the rest of my armor stands. I'm gonna put all of my fucking armor racks backwards and just see how thick each is. It's my goal. Which, which armor rack complements your ass the best? And then started messing around with the custom effigies in this game, trying to make some awesome artwork. Yeah, we can definitely make some big boy effigies. Fucking mint, bud. All right, do you want to uh, raid a couple of the, uh, the villages and put big boy effigies in them? You, so you want to go into a native village, kill the natives, string up their, cut up their inhabitants, string them up in an artistic piece in order to strive fear and then leave? Uh, no, we're coming to decorate. Oh, okay, yeah, that sounds better. Toast then made probably the best discovery either of us had made in this entire series. Oh my god! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yo, I gotta try that. No, I just ran over it. He <laughs> jumped the fucking house <laughs> into the lake. Into the lake. I could have like, gotten the lake, bro. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. What the hell? That is nutty. 
I won't insult your intelligence by pretending we did anything other than messing around with the knights and turtle shells on day 88. Come on! Come on! <laughs> I, I hit the front of the house. <laughs> I love it. Maybe, 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 maybe! I got it. Oh, shit! Oh, you lost the, the fucking I lost the night, I lost the night, though. Alright. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. We made it. <laughs> we did it. Oh, yeah. So. I made it. You made it? Yeah, I got stuck in the plants, but I made it. <laughs> as long as you made it, that's all that matters. Yeah, I got it again. Day 89, we were looking at the interactive map and realized on the other side of the mountain, there's actually three quote-unquote villages we hadn't explored yet. So we decided today we're going to go take a look. Okay, so there's two down here. All yeah. Right. No! What just uh, <laughs> Fuck. We're good. <laughs> Alright. Damn, this is like pretty, uh... Pretty thin. They are pretty fucking empty, though. Yeah, no, this was... At least the first one had crossbow bolts. This one's just kind of boring. Yeah. Yeah, fucking nothing. Alright. Well, let's just... Lovely. Glad, glad we made the trek. Yeah, no. Really. Nice. Was, um... Perfect. Like, I guess it'd be alright to, like, move into one of these. Yeah. And have to be made houses kind of thing. But other than that, like, I don't know. The morning of day 90, we decided to leave our mark with this random wall next to this random campsite that we slept out on, just so the future generations would be confused when they stumbled here. We decided to do a little bit of hunting when we got home. Probably do the 100 days and, um... You dickhead. Damn. And then I figured something out that I'd been stuck on for about 90 days. Did that make a difference? Really? That's, that's the fucking killer. That, it has to be outside. Yeah, it just needs to be outside. We're not allowed to stack it inside. Oh, okay. Why? Not. I don't know. <laughs> Day 91, it was winter again. I also discovered a new type of armor that I didn't know existed. You can make grass armor? Yeah, it's like sneaky armor. Like ghillie suit. How did I not know that? Today I began constructing a tarp bridge with the idea being we'll be able to bounce our way across the lake. A dumb idea maybe, but you know what? It's something. It's like a... If you get a good jump, like, the fastest you can go, it goes two at a time, and you don't even need, like, one every single one. Yep, people are trying to eat us. And we've made an FU tower, an upside-down fuck-you fishing hut. An upside-down pyramid fuck-you fishing hut, sorry. Uh, a trampoline bridge, yeah. We've made stunt bike racing, so we can jump this lake on a night. So, yeah, you, you can tell we're not, a, uh, you know, we're not as concerned about the threat of cannibals. Well, I was constructing this, Toast was out doing his own exploring, and well, apparently he found something at the end of the day. What the fuck? What did I just walk into? What did like you- like a fucking seance with radios. Oh shit. Oh shit. The morning of day 92, I decided it was time to experiment with the new soup, brewing stuff, and the cooking pot. Dude, that's expensive to make that soup. Well, this better be, like, the best soup I've ever had in my life. Like, I just got some, like, bonuses for making that soup. What kind of bonuses we talking? I don't know. It's, like, giving me, like, gold strength icons and shit. Dude, I am... I'm taking down trees and, like... Two swings. 
<laughs> Neat. Yeah, it just makes these like special. The soups pretty much give you like these insane stats. What the? Oh, cool, oh. Cool. A bit later in the day, Kelvin decided, you know what? I am done with your shit. What the fuck? Kelvin, take an order. Dude, I keep giving Kelvin an order, and then he comes back, and he just sits on a fucking... He, he looks at the order, he nods, so he gives me the thumbs up. I just... Like, what the fuck, bro? Just goes and sits on the nearest chair. He's had enough of your shit. Yeah. Fucking, he's on worker's strike. Union break? Yeah. Union's on strike. Virginia's just gonna let people attack our house now. Huh. I wanna raise. The morning of day 93, we were informed that we were actually somewhat close to a weapon that we hadn't got yet, somehow. So, we decided, let's go get it. Alright, yeah, I got it. Solid. Cool. Right there, I'll be there in a minute. And I'll be honest, with this new weapon, I don't know exactly what came over me, but it was something. Here. Hey, guys. He takes a minute to beat them to death, though. Help me beat Fat Boy to death. He's getting up. I'm chasing Stop everybody. resisting. <laughs> hey, thickums. <laughs> so fucked. Anyone else want some? Alright, job well done. <laughs> Toast then decided to take me to his little radio village that he found beforehand. And the law needed to be laid down here just a little bit. Hey! Oh, I'm out of battery. Stop resisting. You thought it's Canadians were nice? No, Canadians aren't nice. We just say sorry after we're dead. Yeah. That's all. Search up Canada World War One. You'll figure out how nice Canadians are. The morning of day 94, I decided that I wanted to try out a new flavor of soup. Alright, yeah, I'm making a Greg. Dude, that gave me so many bonuses. <laughs> yeah, no, cooking people. The cannibals are onto something here, man, I'm telling you. I then had one of the most controversial discussions I had with my chat at any point in this playthrough. Favorite Star Wars movie. It's close, but I'd have to go The Last Jedi. I'm fucking with you, by the way, there's no chance. And at the end of the day, one of the more memorable attacks of the playthrough occurred. Okay. Oh, no! He's inside now! It jumped the wall! Oh god. This guy's fucking huge! Let oh my god! What is he? He's fucking huge! Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey, what the hell? No, 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 Start unloading into him! It doesn't matter! <laughs> Shoot it! <laughs> The de it's not dead yet. Hold up, none of my I'm buttons good. are working. None of my like, buttons are working. Like in Harvest? I can't pick up anything. What the fuck? And yeah, that boss was so powerful, it made me have to restart my game, and it took my shotgun. It got I'm rid of my shotgun? <laughs> have fun. The first thing I did on day 95 was go and replace my shotgun. Alright. Got my shotgun back. I also was sure to stop on the way back and get a shotgun rail so that I could pimp out my shotgun just a bit. Alright, my shotgun's back. Laser sight attached. Solid, solid. Toast wanted to go outfit hunting today, and I decided to be a good friend and tag along. Day 96, the main objective was to get our hands on the spacesuit as well. I wanted to look amazing, and I'm also a bit of a nerd, so, you know, works out. Unfortunately, I forgot that Toast is brutally honest. How do I look? Uh, pretty dumb. Pretty dumb, not gonna lie. You know, I was hoping for some more positive reinforcement there. 
And uh, it looks pretty dumb, not gonna <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Thanks, really, I appreciate that. Makes like your, uh, what's a good way to put this? Makes like your face look really dumb. Like your head shape? More blocky almost, you know? Yeah, thanks. Again, Toast, you're really yeah, building no my confidence problem. here. Problem. <laughs> Honestly, it's I like, I don't know best. what I'd do without you. And I was also able to prove to Toast a bit later in the day that math can be useful. We actually did the math on it once, how large um, Big Bird's asshole would need to be to feed the entire world. You shit eggs. Why? <laughs> I don't know, we were wondering, like, how many eggs does the world take, and like... If pretty much it was just like one party sheep or something, or just like uh, no, if it like if there was one bird somewhere, assignment. right? Just every second, just shitting out one layer of eggs, you know, just one layer, one layer, one layer. What would the one diameter layer. need to be? Yeah, to 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 sustain like the population, egg? you would need to have. I think it was an eight point nine meter diameter. Uh, okay, cavity. Let's call it to sustain the world's population of eggs. Day 97 was the last day I had to go AFK for a minute, and a miracle happened. All right, I'm back. Uh, hey, you're back. Oh, you didn't even try. What? You trapped me. Oh shit! I forgot to trap you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for three minutes. You go. <laughs> All right. Where are you? A bit later in the day, we were happy to see that the spawn mechanics had been fixed. Hey! Uh, uh, they're, they're in our base. And then we just did a little bit of looting. Day 98, we wanted to finish up all of the armor stands. Early in the morning, the armor stands in Toast's room were fully completed. There you go. Wonderful. That does look so stupid. The tech mesh. Toast then helped me as we went hunting to finish up the last pieces of bone armor and hide armor that I needed to finish up my armor stands. This lady requires... She's clearly cracked out of her mind. You're gonna special. tase her? <laughs> <laughs> Time Come to do on, our job. let's tase you. Come on. Alright. My armor rack's done now too. With those armor stands now completed, there was something that had to be done. If I had to rank it, I would go tech mesh, leaf armor, hide armor, bone armor, then mutant armor. Mutant armor kind of has a hole there. Bone armor has like two or three bones, but better than nothing. To show off the goods, you know? Yeah. Like the mutant armor kind of just shows off your cheeks. I also cooked up my favorite soup at night. Day 99 started off a bit more personally than I would have liked. Toast. What? Why are you sleeping in my bed next to me without my permission? Ain't nothing wrong with cuddle with the homies. I decided that today I wanted to decorate the outside of the base as that place had gotten no love at all. Well, I'd prefer not to get smacked in the face constantly. You know, we can't always get what we want in life, Toast. Sometimes you need to make sacrifices. <laughs> well, and the sacrifice is this guy's body. I also forgot to mention that the tarp bridge worked okay. Finally, at the end of the day, I had my chance to get payback on Toast for all those times he had locked me away, trapped me, did whatever he wanted with no consequences. The problem is, he's not going to know the door is locked, he's just going to think it's being jammed from the other side. You get out of that quick. Yeah. Yeah. We got out of what? Where were you? This is my room. Hey, Calvin. Did you leave through the door? No. The window. I always leave through the window. And we have arrived. It is now day 100. Of course, I had to take a few cinematic shots and just look over everything we had managed to accomplish over the last 100 days. And you know what? It wasn't too shabby. Why does he have a jock strap on? Right? <laughs> I really took that in before. Someone's like, oh, we gotta protect the goods. Yeah. I then went to grab a glider and made my way with toast up to the top of the FU tower. It was supposed to be a beautiful moment, but bad decisions got made. 
They stack on top of you. Oh, 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 fuck. No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you God made- damn it. Did you die? No. You made every wrong help, decision you could make there. Even during the final joy flight, there was some interesting conversations that happened. You know, that lake in our, uh, with the, uh, landing strip in the background kind of looks like a dick. I need to get a better view of this. Why can't we just have one nice moment? Yeah, it does look like a dick. Like, that's... Wow, that... There's no way that's not we, intentional. It took us that long to notice, too. That, that, that's our fucking house right that's there. That's where it we built that it, like... <laughs> that's... Right underneath the balls. <laughs> Are you trying to land on the tower? Yeah. Dumb idea. Nope. Not yeah. a dumb idea. I made it. I got it. First try. <laughs> Don't have time to throw a wrench in the plan, unfortunately. Eh, like a glove. Oh, and there goes your glider. With that, we went to bed, and as the sun rose on day 101, 100 days had been spent in Sons of the Forest. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Be sure to follow my Twitch, link in the description, I would really appreciate that as I'm trying to grow my streaming career a bit. And also, of course, huge, huge, huge shout out to Mad Toaster Waffles, his links are all in the description, gotta show him some love for sticking with me through these 100 days. And if you're wondering how many likes it'll take for us to do 200 days, I'll let Toast tell ya. In this game, when this playthrough hits uh, a combined 20k likes between the two videos, we do another one? Something like that, yeah, 20k likes, that's a... If they, hit, if they combine for 20k likes, we'll do 200 okay, days. so 10k each. Yeah. Alright. Well, you know, or 15k, 5k, who cares, right? Just 20k yeah, sure. combined. Alright. Yeah. Cool. Well, there you have it. 20k combined on parts 1 and 2, and we will do 200 days. Anyways, it's been your boy Bandit Banks. I really appreciate you guys stopping by, and I will catch you all in the next one.